Hello, this is Venetia, and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. As I came out to um, record this word that was given to me, described for the on um, October the fourteenth of twenty twenty four, the wind was blowing from the northeast. And it was like the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. I am pouring out my spirit, but along with that is the Father's judgment or those things that will drive the people of my creation back to me through what he's revealing in our natural is actually what is going on into in the spiritual realms so the title of this spoken word that was given to me is when the trumpet sounds when the trumpet sounds and this night or this morning was given on the 14th I was awakened at 12.47 and only half of what he wanted to speak to me was given to me and then I became very, very sleepy and I know when that happens that he's done for with speaking to me of what he wants me to describe at that time. So I go back to bed and then I again he awakens me at 501 a.m and finishes the word that he who the word that he had for me to scribe this is a very heavy word i am delivering this out of obedience um but it is a rhema word and a now word it is a now word for this Kairos moment in God's eternity. Holy Spirit, here am I. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you. May I speak with fluently that's the words that you gave me to scribe and that may these words go out and land on the hearts that you have prepared to receive this word. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for the wind of your Holy Spirit. But most of all, Jesus, I thank you for your salvation and for redeeming me through your blood and out of obedience and to lift you higher and give you all the glory. I ask these things in your precious name, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, here am I. So the first timestamp that he woke me up is 1247. And um, in that the Holy Spirit directed me to a written word in John 12, 47 through 50 in the Amplified. And it says, if anyone hears my words and does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge and condemn the world. That is to initiate the final judgment of the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me refuses to accept my teachings has one who judges him the very word that i spoke will judge and condemn him on the last day for i have never spoken on my own initiative or authority but the father himself who sent me has given me a commandment regarding what to say and what to speak i know that his commandment is eternal life so the things I speak, I speak in accordance with 
his exact instructions. I just, his in, exact instructions, just as the Father has told me. Holy Spirit, bless this word. The Spirit of the Lord says, when the trumpet of the Lord sounds for his coming, many will be sleeping, caught unaware, missing their bridegroom's return. There will be many believing today that their hearts are ready for the Lord's return, but will find themselves left behind left behind because they did not heed my discipline nor the conviction of the Holy Spirit within their hearts. Through their disobedience, they will find themselves left behind. I have warned them through my messengers. I have shown them in the word of truth. I have convicted their heart, yet they ignore me. They do not repent and for and turn from their wicked ways. Woe to you who believe in once saved, always saved. Believing you can live your life in sin, believing you opened your heart to me to come in and dine with you, that is all that is required of you. Yes, you did open the door of your heart inviting me into your dining table. But then I was the only one at the table, being left alone to dine by myself. You cultivated no relationship with me. The Spirit of the Lord says, those believing once saved, always saved, examine the condition of your heart. Ask me to reveal in there if there is any wicked way in you. Repent, repent. And again, the spirit of the Lord says, repent and turn from your wicked ways. Then there are many on judgment day who will cry out, Lord, Lord, didn't we do miracles in your name? Didn't we cast out demons in your name? My reply will be, depart from me. I never knew you. I am a God of love. Therefore, heed my warning fall on your face in repentance and turn from your wicked ways before it is too late and you are left behind. I am warning you, do not believe the lie that once saved, you are always saved. No matter the evil you are doing in the secret dark places, those that slander and murder with your tongue, beware of the lie that you are believing. You will be held accountable for every word that comes from your mouth. Examine the words you speak. Do they speak life or death? Do they add salt and light or pepper and darkness to a life? Do they bring peace or create division and chaos? Are the words you speak of my truth or gossip of the enemy's lies? I am warning you, I am a judge who renders judgment based off, based on the heart condition. I am righteous and holy. My judgment is rendered fair and just. Therefore, I say to you one last time, examine your heart and see if there be any wicked way in you, says the Spirit of the living God. And then that other time stamp of 501 that he awakened me to the holy spirit led me to psalms 51 through 23 and this was, is in the passion translation i believe this written word could be no more clearer than what the spoken word was that the holy spirit has given to us the god of gods the mighty lord himself has spoken. He shouts out over all the people of the earth and every brilliant sunrise and every beautiful sunset saying, listen to me. God's glory light shines out of the Zion realm with the radiance of perfect beauty. With the rumble of thunder, he approaches. He will not be silent for he comes with an ear splitting sound all around him are furious flames of fire and 
preceding him is the dazzling blaze of his glory. Here he comes to judge his people. He summons his court with heaven and earth as his jewelry saying, gather all my devoted lovers, my godly ones whose hearts are one with me, those who have entered into my holy covenant of sacrifices upon the altar and the heavens declared his judge his justice god himself will be their judge and he will judge them with righteousness pause in his presence listen to me O oh my people listen well for i am your god i am bringing you to trial and here are my charges i do not rebuke you for your sacrifices which you continually bring to my altar do i need your young bulls or goats from your fields as if there i were hungry even every animal of field and forest belongs to me the creator i know every movement of the birds in the sky and every animal of the field is in my thoughts the entire world and everything it contains is mine if i were hungry do you think i would tell you for all i have created the fullness of the earth is mine am i Am I fed by your sacrifices? Of course not. Why don't you bring me the sacrifices I desire? Bring me your true sense of thanks and show your gratitude by keeping your promises to me. The Most High, honor me, honor me by trusting in me in your day of trouble. Cry aloud to me and I will be there to rescue you. And now I speak to the wicked listen to what i have to say to you what right do you have to presume to speak to me and claim my covenant promises as yours for you have hated my instructions and disregarded my words throwing them away as worthless you forget to condemn the thief or adulterer you are their friend running alongside them into darkness the sins of your mouth multiply evil. You have a lifestyle of lies. You are devoted to deceit as you speak against others, even slandering those of your own household. All this you have done, and I kept silent, so you thought that I was just like you, sanctioning evil. But now I will bring you to my courtroom and spell out clearly my charges before you. This is your last chance, my final warning. Your time is up. Turn away from all this evil or the next time you hear from me will be when I am coming to pass judgment upon you. I will snatch you away and no one will be there to keep you, you to help you escape my judgment. The life that pleases me is a life lived in the gratitude of grace, always choosing to walk with me in what is right. This is the sacrifice I desire from you. If you do this, more of my salvation will unfold for you. Holy Spirit, bless this word. Let it go out to those that you have to hear this word. May they heed the warning May they heed the warning from the Father spoken by you, for this is not a time that we can be on the fence. This is not a time that we can um, play games with our relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. There is nothing hidden from him. He sees the intents of our heart. He knows what our thoughts are, and he will judge accordingly to his righteousness and judgment. Holy Spirit, thank you for helping me be obedient. I pray that this word goes out and touches the lives that you have um, intended for it to touch. Bring them to the Father I, uh, through the Son. I pray, let us not turn our backs on him in these last hours and these last days before his return. In Jesus' name I pray. I 
If you haven't subscribed to this channel, God's channel, Skipping with Jesus, I would ask you to subscribe. This is God's channel. It is not none of me. It's all of him. He is aligning. He is speaking through this channel very loudly. And um, if you would give it a thumbs up. And um, of course, um, like in any word that is released from any any prophet or and i'm not calling myself a prophet i'm just i am abba's daughter i am being obedient to my lord as his scribe and now releasing through my voice what he has spoken to me i just ask that you share these words because he is giving us details of these last days and what he is wanting us to do there's clarity of purpose in his plan according to his will and we um, do, do not take lightly what he is saying do not take lightly and say oh this is just another word i am telling you i am telling you i am telling you heed his word yes holy spirit i sense this wind blowing from the northeast oh holy spirit now i ask um that um, the Father be find us faithful in skipping down those uncharted paths with Him and uh, with His Son, and that we heed His warnings and we go out and um, tell the world of this Lord that we have that has changed and transformed our lives and that there is an eternity of judgment that we will be facing and very soon when our lord comes for his bride when the trumpet sounds i love you all may god bless you and keep you and until next time we'll see you later bye bye